so good morning children so in the last class we have learned what is the arithmetic progression and what type of series are called what arithmetic progression and all the things we have discussed in our last class so today we will see the exercise number 5.1 okay so here some questions are there the question number 1 is means some word problems are given the question number 1 and question number 2 i am taking here so that word problems you have to convert into series okay these word problems you have to convert into series and after that you have to see whether that series is ap or not if is no why if it yes why if it is in ap that means if that series is in ap then why it is in ap you have to mention the reason also now you see come to the exercise number uh so 5.1 question number 1 part 1 one so that solution we will try to do now okay now see what this question says the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first kilometer and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer means what is given taxi fare for the first kilometer when you move in a taxi in the taxi the fare of the taxi is for the per per kilometer it is 15 yes first term is 15 here okay now for every 1 kilometer you have to pay 8 rupees more understood means now for per kilometer what is the fare of the uh, fare of the taxi it is rupees 5 for next one how much 15 plus 8 means 15 then 8 rupees more you have to give so 15 plus 8 is how much 23 correct are you getting now this is second for moving second uh, kilometer he have to pay the taxi fare is what rupees 23 for our next 1 kilometer 23 plus 8 that is what 31 okay then for our next 1 kilometer 31 plus But a that is thirty nine. So like this, a series. This is one series. Now you have to check whether this series in AP or not. Are you getting? So this word problem I have converted into series. I hope you have you understood the series. How I got this series? Because what is given for first kilometer the taxi fare is rupees fifteen. For the next For next every one kilometer we have to eight rupees more. Okay, so for first kilometer fifteen rupees. For next kilometer fifteen plus eight, how much? Twenty three. Then for the next kilometer twenty three plus eight, thirty one. For the next kilometer thirty one plus eight is equal to thirty nine. So like this we got one series. Now we have to check whether this series is AP or not. So for that you know what we have to do. This is A one, this is A two, A three, A four. So we will find out the Common difference now here. What? Uh, okay, so a two minus a one. Let us see. A two minus a one. So it is a two is twenty three minus fifteen. So thirty. Uh, uh, so is equal how much? We get thirteen minus five is equal to uh, eight. Then uh, so twenty three minus fifteen is equal to eight. Then a three minus a two. Let us see. Thirty one minus thirteen. Okay, uh, sorry, twenty three, thirty one minus twenty three is equal to uh, so it is eleven minus three. Uh, a time getting correct. Then a four minus a three is equal to let us see thirty nine minus thirty one, thirty nine minus thirty one. So is equal to uh, how much you will get? Uh, uh, it is you get what? So now you see here. Here the common difference is same in all the cases. Means common difference you are getting a a a. So that's why this series in it is in what AP or not? Yes, this series is in AP. So we can write a two minus a one is equal to a three minus a two is equal to a four minus a three. Therefore, the series, the series in A. Okay. I hope you understood this question. How to solve uh, 
this type of questions means this word problem you have to convert into series and after that uh, when you convert that one into series you have to check whether this series in AP or not. So let us go to the next question that is question number 2. <coughs> now let us see the next question. The amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes one fourth of the air remaining in the cylinder at a Means in a cylinder some amount of air is there. We don't know how much air is there in that but, uh, cylinder. Means every time what will happen vacuum you know vacuum what is uh, vacuum. So vacuum pump remove one fourth of the air from the pump. And every time what will happen? One fourth of the air present in the vacuum pump, it will remove by whom? Vacuum pump. So now that situation we have to convert into series and we have to see that's whether that series is in AP or not. Okay, so let us see. So here how much air is present in a cylinder we don't know. So we will suppose you can suppose it at X also, but here what I will do, I will suppose by a number. Okay, so that you will understand more. So, uh, question number two, what I will do? Let the amount of, let the amount of air present is equal to, let us say 64 meter cube. 64 meter cube, that much air is present at first. So, the first term, first term is what then? 64. Means this much, uh, that much amount of air is present in the vacuum pump. Now the, what the vacuum pump will do? The vacuum pump will remove one fourth of this one. Means now, what is, uh, now how much air will remain in the next part? You see, earlier how much uh, air is there? 64 is there. So now remove, remove means you have to subtract. How much you have to subtract? One fourth of what? Are you getting? Earlier, how much air was there in the vacuum pump? 64. Okay, so 64. Now, every time the air present in the cylinder, okay, now 64 meter cube um, uh, air is present in the cylinder. Now, how much air I have to remove? Means the vacuum pump will remove one fourth of what is present. So, definitely 64 minus 1 by 4 into 64 means. 4, uh, 4, 1, 4, uh, 4, 6, 24. So, how much we will get? Uh, 4, 6, 24, 5, 64. So, uh, we will get 14, minus 4, 5, 4, 5, 5, 8. So, we will get what? Uh, 50, uh, 48. Now, how much air we left now? 48 meter cube air is left. Now, the next time what will happen now, 40, this much amount is left or not in the cylinder, this much amount of air is left in the cylinder. Now, again what will happen, 48 minus 1 by 4 into 48. Itna air thai dar mein, iska 1 4 phir hum nikal dega, isme se 1 4 minus kar dega, 1 4, means 1 4 of 48. Nikalna, that, that will represent by which side? Minus side. So cancel it. 4 1 the 4, 4 2 the 8. So 48 minus 12, how much you will get? 8 minus 2, 6, 4 minus 1. Three. So it is what? Six. So now, like that you see, it becomes a what? Series now. Now we have to check whether this series in AP or not. So first of all, what we do? We find A2 minus A1. This is A2, this is A1. So, A2 minus A1, how much you will get? Uh, 15 minus F of X6, uh, then uh, 48 minus, uh, then uh, here, 5, 5 minus 4, uh, 14 minus H6, and then 5 minus 4, one, minus 16. We will get minus 16. Then, A3 minus A2. A3 minus A2 is equal to what? 36 minus 48. 36 minus 48. So let us see how much we are getting. 16 minus 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. Then here. Uh, so uh, 
36 minus 48 is equal to 8 we will get what minus x. So here you see a2 minus a1 not equal to what a3 minus a2. Therefore the series is not in a. Right? So like this you can convert this whole problem into series and after that you can uh, find out whether the series is a p or not. So now we will see one more question and that remaining two question is there that question number three and four you can do by yourself by by, by the same method that I have with. Now we will go for the question number two. Okay. Now come to the question number two. What the question number two says you see. Write the first four term of the AP. You have to make one AP and you have to write the first four term. First term, second term, third term and fourth term. Where A and B are given. A means first term. Okay. Remember, but in my earlier classes, I have written the first term as A1. Don't confuse. You can write A also. So, A is the first term and B is the what? Common difference. So, if you know, know these two things, first term and what? Common difference, we can make a series very easily. So, in the coming questions also, remember, in most of the questions, you have to form a series. So, the main thing to form a series in a question, we should know the first term and what D. Okay? So, the first question, let us see how to do. What is the first term? First term is A. Common difference is what? What is the common difference? Common difference is what? 10. 10 here. So, the next term how you will get by adding 10 with the first term means 10 plus 10, 20. And the next term 20 plus 10, 30. The next term 30 plus 10, 40. Okay, finish. This is the answer. You can do like this first term, second term, third term, fourth term. This is also like this also you can do. Means with the first term you add the, add the common difference that is 10, you will get 20. With with the second term, you can add the common difference, 30. 30 plus 3, common difference add curve. Then you will get the fourth term. Okay, this is one method. Oh, we can do. One more method is there. You can do like this also. Now, this, this same question, we can do by this method also. You see, the general form of A means this is first term. Second term is what? A plus D. Third term is A plus twice D. Fourth term is a plus three five three d. Fifth term a plus five uh, a plus four d. Like that it will go up. You know uh, this is the general form of a p. Remember means a a p will look like this. A first term is a second term is a plus d. Third one is a plus two d and a plus three d and a plus four d. First term second like this also you can do and like this also you can do. Now a a means how much in this question? A so you write a. The second term a a is 10 plus d d how much 10 okay we get the same series you see here if we put like this also a plus uh, sorry a is what 10 10 plus 2 into d 2 into 10 okay then uh, a plus 3d 10 plus 3 into 10 now let us see this is first term 10 plus 10 20 10 plus 2 into 10, 20, 20 plus 10, 30, then 4 term, 10 is, uh, 3 into 10, 30, 30 plus 10, 40, you see, I am getting the same series or not. So, you can do by this method also, or you can buy, you can do by this method also, but remember, this is the most important part, you have to remember this, what, general form of AP. The first term is A, second term is A plus D, third term A plus 2D, fourth term A plus 3D, Fifth term a plus 4d, uh, then uh, sixth term a plus 5d, then uh, sixth, uh, seventh term a plus 6d, it will go up. Okay, if you know this NL from, you can find out what? Uh, 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 a series without any problem. Okay, I think it is clear. So remember this one also. That things we will discuss more in the coming I mean, topic. Okay, now let us come to the next question. That is question number two of this one. So, in question number 2, what is there? A is equal to minus 2, then D is equal to 0. Now, you have to form a series. 
okay correct so a first term first term is minus 2 second term second term how will find the minus 2 plus 0 minus 2 only then second term minus 2 plus 0 that is minus 2 so it will then uh, fourth term minus 2 what plus 0 so what you will get minus 2 only so like this you will get one series a is equal to minus 2 here it is given d is equal to d this is the first term first term plus are 0 plus here you will get minus 2 second term we got second with second term you had the common difference you will get minus 2 ok so this, this will be the series in this case ok now come to question number 3 a is equal to 4 d is equal to minus 3 ok so what is the first term here a is equal to 4 so 4 what is the second term second term how how will you find out 4 plus minus 3 first term is a common difference you have to what add means 4 plus minus 3 so is equal to 4 plus minus 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 3 so is equal to 1 4 minus 3 1 so 1 will get then the third term 1 plus minus 3 so it is equal to 1 minus 3 so 1 minus 3 is equal to what minus 2 so here we will get minus 2 third term fourth term this minus 2 plus common difference minus 3 so it is equal to minus 2 minus 3 so it is equal to what minus 5 which is minus 5 so like this you can find your what series if you know the uh, first term and the what common difference you can find out the what uh, what uh, you can find out the series like this ok so we will go to the question number 3 now the remaining question is are easy question so remaining question question number uh, uh, 3 4 and 5 you can do by yourself but these are very simple questions if you know A if you know B you can find the series like this ok so let us do the question number, go for the question number 3.